The body of a 22-year-old woman found near TCU today, leaving the people who live in a Fort Worth neighborhood wondering who killed her. This area, about two blocks from campus. Our J.D. Miles live there tonight. Kaylee, Fort Worth police have been out here all day processing the crime scene. In fact, I just saw detectives leave here about 10 minutes ago. They've been inside a room above a detached garage behind this home. And while what happened here has understandably a lot of people who live around here on edge, others are reluctant to believe this could be a random attack. Joggers and walkers pass people sitting on their front porches in the University Place neighborhood next to TCU this evening. The scenic collection of historic homes looked normal, except for the one on Waits Avenue, just down the street from where Elise Vidari lives. There's just a lot of unanswered questions. Vidari is nearly the same age as Molly Matheson. Fort Worth police say the body of the 22-year-old was found by her mother in the bathroom of a room she rented above a garage behind a home. As a young woman, she's only two years older than I am or was. And so it's crazy to think that, like, who says that couldn't have been me? Like, where was I when that happened? Was this someone random? Was this a random attack? Police say the victim was not a TCU student or an employee. Her brother tweeted, love everyone in your life as much as you possibly can. I miss you so much, Molly. Police have not revealed whether they have a motive or suspects. But residents we spoke with off camera are confident their neighborhood is safe and are convinced the victim had to know her killer. We have been told Matheson lived inside the apartment alone. She was also a graduate of Timber Creek High School in Keller. She was active on her Twitter page just two days ago, but nothing posted suggested any problems or signs of trouble in her life. Live in Fort Worth, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.